It's like you're leaving money on the table, like really a lot of money, like 90% of your money, really missing the whole purpose of using, using LinkedIn. You know, you can start that business conversation already. Let's put it that way. Sometimes I generate 40 to 50 leads with one post. Hello, everybody. Today with me, uh, Steph. Steph is the lead generation expert. And in today's episode, we will talk about lead generation. In this 10 to 15 minutes episode, we will talk about lead generation. And he will share his expertise and his knowledge with everybody that struggles, me included, with the lead generation. Hi, Steph. How are you doing? Very good. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Uh, for people that may not know who you are, can you tell a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. So I, um, I work as a lead generation consultant on LinkedIn. I help people generating clients through LinkedIn, through the platform. And I typically work with solopreneurs, small agencies, small businesses that in the B2B space, they want to generate. Usually they sell services, sometimes SaaS, uh, software as a service, and I help them um, generate more clients through the platform. Yeah, yeah. And kind of the first question that I have, and I believe a lot of people are struggling with lead generation. From your experience, what is the biggest mistake people make uh, with the lead generation on the LinkedIn and uh, uh, how they can basically fix them. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think the biggest mistake people make when it comes to LinkedIn, it's uh, they invest a lot of time in creating content and they, even though not many people want to admit it, but everybody's focusing on interaction so much like number of likes views and that's what most people are talking about on the internet on, on linkedin but i don't think that's that relevant what is really relevant is how many clients i mean if you're using it to generate clients right you should be focusing how many clients are you generating how many leads right how many um you know, DMs are you sending every day? How many of those DMs are turning into a sales call? How many sales calls are turning into clients? So that's really what people are missing. Like they're really missing the whole purpose of using, using LinkedIn to grow their business. Yeah, and how to, so, okay, somebody's watching this and they are doing like this engagement and this content. So what should they do now from watching, yeah. after watching this episode, what's, what, what should they change? Right. So what I think people should change is they should invest a lot more time in the DMs, like literally mm. messaging people and talking with them. Uh, it's not about pitching your products because a lot of people say, hey, I don't want to pitch my product in the DMs, but that's not about what you need to do. It's basically what I do. I start talking with people either inbound or outbound prospects and I ask how things are going, like in a specific way that in a spe I, I, I follow a specific direction to unveil a problem, if there is a problem. If the, the lead is willing to talk with me about that, I invite them on a call. And it's very, very simple. It's uh, very simple as a concept, but what most people think is that when you have really good content, people come your way and say, hey, Steph, how much does your work do? Does it cost to work with you? And that happens sometimes. Just I just received a message like that uh, just before I hop on this call, but that's something that it doesn't happen that often compared to, like, I mean, it's like you're leaving money on the table, like really a lot of money, like 90% of your money you're leaving on the table because you're not doing lead gen. And also content creation. When it comes to content creation, you know, everybody's focused on metrics like KPIs, like likes, um, interaction, uh, comments, and views. But what you should be focusing, I, th those things have their place. Um, and I think you should alternate between those kind of content and content that generate leads. There's not, when I started on LinkedIn, there was a lot of people, there were a lot of people that were giving value, like really valuable resources on LinkedIn. That has disappeared a little. Uh, I feel like it's a lot more kind of like influencer kind of content creation on LinkedIn right now. And I, you know, I just think people as are really missing a big opportunity on LinkedIn just by not uh, using it in a way to really grow their business. 
Yeah. And maybe just to kind of dive deep into what you just said, because I agree with mm-hmm. that. I sometimes get questions. Uh, I sometimes get messages. So person connecting with me, I accept connection and immediately I, I got the pitch message. And I see that a lot. Uh, I yeah. usually, I usually, I usually unfollow them Im- immediately. Uh, but how somebody that would want to generate leads should approach something like that. So okay, maybe. Yeah. So okay, they are they are trying their best. Maybe they're doing some content. Maybe they're not. As as you said, it's not very. It's it's not that important. So how they should approach. Uh, how should they approach this kind of messaging and connecting with people? What you should do, it depends, first of all, if the, the the prospect is an inbound prospect or outbound, right? If it's somebody that you know, that knows their content, so started following you, I sent you a connection request, or if it's somebody who you don't know, but you believe it's a good prospect for you, if it's your ICP, your ideal customer profile. So... In the first case, you can send them a connection request that is pretty not direct as in, um, you know, you can start that business conversation already. Let's put it that way, right away. Whereas if it's a cold prospect, what you need to do, you need to warm it up first. There are a few ways to go about it. I use some templates as well, but for my, I call it uh, the third ICP, the third tier of my ICP, I three different tiers, the high, let's call it high quality, low quality, sorry, mid quality and low quality. For the low quality, I have some templated stuff, but I never pitch. I offer resources, whereas, and I always personalize a little bit. Whereas with my, um, what I would do with your first tier of ICP, I would comment on there. It depends on um, who you're targeting, but, uh, I comment for three days on their content. I have a CRM, so it's easy for me to keep track of everything. So I comment three times for the next three times they post anything, and then I send them a connection request. And if you do that, your acceptance rate goes like 80% because you build that relationship before you connect, and then it's so much easier to transition to a business conversation once you have that. I want to I want to slightly pivot it towards like the thing that you are doing and the and the services that you are providing. So let's assume I'm the client because technically I am. I'm looking for leads as everybody else, as every business owner. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's let's say we are start working. So what's the process is working with yeah. you, and what's what's what are the things that clients are getting, and what's your process of working uh, with me? Let's say as a client. Right. So. Um, so next week, actually, I'll be launching something new that is, I'm very, very excited about. I haven't uh, unveiled anything, but I, I'm going to launch something very, very interesting because I want to bring lead generation to as many people as possible. And I feel that I found a really good way to do that, but I don't want to talk too much about that. So when I work with people one-on-one, what I do, the first thing I need to... I start by understanding what is it that they're so they're selling and to whom like very oh. clearly like what are you got it's not just you know i do i don't know uh, copywriting right okay so who do you do copywriting with who like who really are the people that you want to work with who, who are the people that you have experienced uh you have experienced working with that you can really help that you have a system for right it's not just about mm-hmm. It's about how do you justify getting in front of somebody and say, hey, my, my services cost 5K, right? How do you justify those 5Ks, right? There's a work there's work to do. Like you need to have a system. You need to have testimonials. There's a way to get there if you don't have these things, but you need to like have a clear idea how you're going to work with your customers to get them to whatever you're promising. So what is your promise, right? And then from there, you up. I optimize my, the profile with my clients. We identify the ICP very clearly, who are the people that we want to target, who are the people that we want to create content for. Then we start creating content and we create what I call um, resource uh, posts that are basically posts. I, I personally create them a couple of times a week at least, depending on how many leads they generate for me, where I'm sharing valuable resources and people have to reach out to me to get them. And this is how you oh. generate leads with content, right? Of course, you can also, when there's new followers, you can reach out and start a conversation, but that's a great way to 
Sometimes I generate 40 to 50 leads with one post. That's not that rare. That happens. Um, and from there, um, you need to create your DM, uh, sorry, your lead generation funnel, your lead generation system. Oh. Like how do you go from a stranger to a client? How do you go from uh, somebody that follows you to get them to become a client? And then I teach my clients how to close clients on the phone. So that's my mm. process. Yeah. So we gotta just summarize it. It would be something like you start working, you understand ICP, you understand the client, then you create the content uh, to in order to generate leads to warm up some people, yeah. and then you teach people to to basically close the sale through the phone, right? Th through the I'm sorry. Through the phone, phone or or like email. Oh yeah, or... yeah, yeah, through the yeah, 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 through the yeah. I I I do sales calls. Yeah, yeah. So I teach them how yeah, to and... do all of this. Yeah. Hmm. And what do you see? Like you're working with a lot of clients, and what are the things that you see people are often missing, or maybe they do not understand, yeah. and you need to clarify that, like oh, like a little bit yeah. over and over again. Yeah. Right. So. I would probably say the importance, it's not, so when you create a product, it's not just, so your product evolves. And sometimes when you create a product, it might not be something that people want. So might, you might need to go back to study or try, try a different angle. So that's something, what I want to say is that sometimes people just give up when they have a few sales calls or they do lead gen, but they don't really know how to, you know, start the conversation on how to move the conversation to a sales call. And that's completely fine. From there, you should just like keep doing it and always create iter iterations for your messages, for your products. So just to find the right angle to, um, so that you have something that people really want. That's so much that's that's really important like the quality and the the having a product that people really need that makes if it's like marketing yeah it makes a difference but if you don't have something that people need it's really really hard mm. to sell so basically the the main advice is never give up right right <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's that's uh, correct now everybody is talking about AI. That would be a mistake not to ask you yeah. about AI. Uh, how do yeah. wh what's your what's your opinion about AI in general? And yeah, no, AI how would is you great. recommend to someone? Right. So AI is great. I'm currently not using. I using it for content. I'm not. I'm not including it in my Legion system, even though I'm currently working on it. Um, I don't use any sort of automation with LinkedIn. It's too risky. I have too much to lose, but uh, you can, I think it's great for, it's not really what I do. I don't do a lot of prospecting uh, with software. A lot of my clients do mostly, mostly work manual. I have software that I use, but um, I don't work with a lot of like cold emailings and stuff. So, um, Prospecting is not a big part of what I do, as in automation and creating systems there. Uh, but um, what I want to say is that it, no, AI is great. And look, I'm currently in the process of using it to create personalized lines to send connection requests, but I'm only using it mm -hmm. for, I'm doing it manually at the moment. I, I'm working on it as in testing and actually finding a software that I enjoy. I tried a few, I don't like some of the stuff. I like some software, but I don't think they're the right one for what I do. So I'm testing stuff, but I think has a place in the lead gen systems. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I absolutely agree with you with automation on LinkedIn. I, I saw so many products that like writing comments, doing stuff. And I, I don't know, it's like it, it's risky. Like 
I can understand mm. this like with Instagram, right? When you can just easily create new account and start from like basically from the scratch, right? But with the LinkedIn, it's like it's a completely different game, right? You have your history, you have connections, messages. It's yeah. it's too much to lose. It's 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 crazy. You have a reputation. And, um, yeah. Yeah, and you also you kind of touched upon this about your uh, about things that you would want to promote that you are now working on. Can you tell a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So, if anybody wants to get interested in my stuff, I recommend I have a a, a free training that I think it's great. It's how to generate an extra three to five sales calls a week on LinkedIn, and it's something that I've been doing since I had uh, I started my my LinkedIn journey with. 450 followers so it's something that is achievable for pretty much everybody so it's a system that is pretty solid it's pretty streamlined that i've been doing for a couple of years almost already um what i'm working on it's um it's something a little bit more entry level and but i'm i'm giving also support that I think it's because sometimes a lot of courses is just a course that you just watch the video and then after a little bit you forget, you don't have any assistance. I want to provide something a little bit different with that community as well. So I'm currently working on that. I'll be announcing it probably next week. Actually next week for sure. Yeah, and links will be down in the description. So basically it is something like a course with the some elements of mentorship so people can kind of customize their right correct yeah correct. amazing amazing i think a lot of people will benefit from 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 your experience from your thank knowledge you. that you are you are sharing and uh, um, thank you very much for your time i really appreciate it thank you all of us need more leads and uh, <laughs> uh, and for everybody else don't forget to subscribe and yeah and that's all for today. Thank you very much. And bye-bye. Uh, Thank you. Bye-bye.